<laughs> that is awesome. Look at that. That's really cool. They build a nest up there. <laughs> Oh, okay. There's a map here. Nice, I can show you where I am. All right. So this is where I am right now in this village called Klakar. And I need to continue down the road to reach, uh, actually, yeah, Donja Bebrina. And then when I continue more down the road, I will reach the abandoned zone that I'm looking for. All right, I just left the Klakar village. It's behind me. And this here's a Klakar graveyard. Peace to the fallen. And there it is. That's the abandoned zone. That's the castle. I'm looking for right behind those pine trees and other trees. It's right there. I can see it. Oh, there seems to be someone over there. Okay. Here it is. An abandoned zone. There is one cyclist right in front of me. Looks like he took a pause from cycling. All right. There's a car passing. Ah, uh, object is under video surveillance. All right. It's not like that's going to stop me from getting inside, right? What video surveillance? This is abandoned zone. All right. Damn. All right, this is actually bigger than I thought. You know, I need a place to hide my bike somewhere, you know. Even though I'm pretty sure there's no one here and no one's going to show up, people still come here from time to time, even though a whole bunch of people doesn't even know about this place or its existence. Okay, where could I hide my bike? Uh, definitely not here. Okay. All right, how about this tree right here? I can lock my bike here behind this tree, you know. All right. You know, better safe than sorry is the only thing that's going to bring me back home, so yeah. Okay. Well, that looks pretty camouflaged. It's not like someone will come and cut off that huge branch and take my bike or whatever. Hey, hello everyone, my name is Chris 
and welcome to my new Urbex adventure. Finally, guys, finally, it's happening. Here it is. Everyone's been asking me, Chris, when will you make new Urbex video? We want to watch you explore abandoned places and stuff. When is it going to come out? When, 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 when? Here it is. <laughs> Just, you had to be patient for some time, but here it is. Today uh, is a pretty hot day. As you can see, it's really warm. It's Sunday. I mean, it's May after all. Of course, it's going to be hot. Uh, it's very sunny, no sign of rain or anything. So exploring should be enjoyable. And today I have nothing less than a huge abandoned castle. Hell yeah. Does it get more cool than that? I don't think it does. <laughs> I mean, of course it does, but for now, this is, I think, the coolest place I've been to so far. Uh, this place is located uh, southeast of Slavonsky Broad, which is a city in Croatia that I've been living in my entire life. And here you can check this place on the map and, you know, Come and check it out yourself if you want to one day so if you ever find yourself passing by this location come here and you know check this place out uh, i've heard cool stories about it i heard that airsoft is being played here and now when i arrived here i can actually see plastic bbs all over the ground here which confirms that rumors were true you know people come and play airsoft here now what makes this abandoned castle so interesting to me is the story behind it. I think this is the coolest story about some abandoned place that I personally visited. Now, story behind this castle goes all the way back to 1982, which is the year when this castle was built. I mean, you can't see it from here, but I can see it clearly through these broken windows. Uh, you will soon, <laughs> together with me. Anyway, uh, the castle was built in 1982 and uh, it was the property of Željko Mikulic. And uh, judging by the article that I found on the internet, I'll leave the link down below in the description where you can read that yourself. He was one of the most wanted criminals in the ex-Yugoslavia uh, that fell apart after the Homeland War in the 90s. So Yugoslavia used to be a pretty big European country and unfortunately it fell apart after the Homeland War and uh, during the Homeland War, Željko Mikulic, uh, they say he was so feared and he was one of the most wanted criminals in the country. The man was so scary that even freaking CIA was after this guy. And the reason why the CIA was after him uh, which he personally admitted uh, the, give, while giving an interview, judging by, again, the article that I found on the internet. Uh, he was wanted by CIA because he was weapon smuggler. And during the Homeland War, he used to smuggle weapons uh, in Slavonia, which is uh, northern east part of Croatia. And during the Homeland War, he was giving people weapons so we can defend ourselves from the Serbs. So. I don't know, kind of sounds like he was more of an anti-hero than like full criminal and villain. I mean, he said that he did that for the uh, existence of his family. You know, it, it was really hard, hard and tough times back in, in those days. And uh, what's also interesting is that he used to have a paper company. So he was cutting wood and producing paper out of that wood. Of course, the entire company fell apart. Uh, people got fired and everything was robbed and stolen just like it usually goes with Balkan countries you know then again yet a well, homeland war came and the man fled the country and that's pretty much it he built this place in 1982 and uh, they were even trying to sell this place online for some huge amount of money I think it was something around 70 million kunas, something like that. Don't hold me for a word. I'm not 100% sure, but it failed to be sold. And, you know, now it's just huge abandoned castle for me to explore, which is why I am here. 
And in short, that's everything that I could find, you know, about this place and its history. So it's definitely an interesting story, you know. And when you hear something like this, you know, it, it's kind of scary, you know, to think that such feared man did build all this, you know, and now I'm here all by myself. It's like, it's crazy. So, yeah, with that being said, let's get on to exploring. Actually, before I move on, I will drink a little bit of water. I've been cycling a long way to reach this destination and I'm thirsty, so I will start this video with drinking some water. I also obtained myself a uh, Predator a Invader Gear tactical pants. They got tactical pads. I also obtained the ham radio that completely works, but I obviously don't need to use it. But you know, I upgraded my equipment a little bit, so cheers. All right, I'm already getting stalker vibes from this place. It's really cool. All right. All right. Oh, damn, my backpack. This is always heavy. And I carry all the equipment inside it. All right, let's go. All right, got a camera on my head. So this looks like some sort of a barn, you know, or something. And there's a lot of wood here. Was that the wood he was using, you know, for the company to produce paper? Or like, is this additionally brought here? I don't know. I saw it looks messed up. But yeah, here are the plastic BBs from Airsofters, you know. I love how we, urban explorers and Airsofters, I mean, I'm Airsofter myself, I have plenty of Airsoft equipment and weapons now. But what we got in common is like, abandoned places. <laughs> we like the same thing, they like to play Airsoft here and we urban explorers love to explore them. All right, this doesn't look too deep, but the water's freaking dirty. Ew, I definitely don't want to fall in down there. All right. Oh, God damn, look at that. Want to watch out for that. If you penetrate yourself on that, it's not going to be pretty. Whoa. What is this? Broken glass everywhere. This looks like it used to be some kind of a workshop or something, you know? Pretty crazy. Ugh. Okay. Just a bunch of old stuff here. Nothing really special. Some old closet. Okay. Wow. All right. More wood here and everything. So this is the castle. But before I head that way, I first want to check out What's here? Oh, look at that. And there's like a hole down there that I can get down to. Okay. Maybe there's a basement as well. What's over here? A toilet. Ah, fucked up toilet. Of course, there's no water. <laughs> Even if it was there, some water, I definitely wouldn't drink that. 
Okay, that's a tiny room. I wonder, like, what these huge, like, concrete blocks, this concrete construction, what the hell was that for? Like, that's pretty weird. What would you build that for? Alright. Switch the camera. To my hand for now, since I don't need hands. Wow. This place is huge. I mean, just when you come here. Like, you get welcomed by the huge open space. Like, there's a lot. There's a lot going on here. What the hell? Oh. This is like a basket? Forget for a basketball? Now look at that. That's like a metal wire. Meters and meters of long metal wire. Okay. Everything is just overgrown. Trees are, you know, growing over that concrete construction. Oh wow, look at that. That is a beautiful flower. Oh, I can hear wasps here. A lot of them. Actually, there is two or three. It's a spiky flower, but very beautiful. What the hell was that? Metal wire. Jeez. What was dude building this for? I'm very confused on like what this would be. Like you can land a helicopter here. I read something somewhere that he started building hippodrome. Maybe this could have been in it. It I don't know. But the roof of the castle is right there. The tip of my finger. I can see it clearly with my eyes. You know. Wow. I doubt I can get through there. That looks very overgrown. But who knows, maybe I can. Let's see. Yep, I can definitely squeeze through there. All right. Let's head down first to that basement, because kind of looks like there could be like a huge space down below or something, or my, I might be wrong. I won't know until I get down, which means I'll have to pull off my flashlight. It's probably going to be dark down there. Wait, this just got my attention as well. That's underwater. All right. We're definitely not going down there. This is locked tightly, right? All right. But this here is not. All right. Oh, there's a frog down there. Hello, frog. Mr. Frog's chilling. All right. Hopefully there's not some fucking snake waiting for me to bite my ass or something. Ah, uh, frog just jumped away. I mean... Uh, holy shit. This shit is like catacombs or something underneath there. Uh -oh, wrong pocket. Oh, it smells terrible. Fuck it. 
I'm equipping gas mask as well. I'll take no chances. Very smelly. It smells like a combination of shit and kind of rust. I don't know. From the experience, I've learned that if it smells, it's probably not good. So, yeah. We got a flashlight. Ready. Alright, here we go. Holy fuck. Doesn't seem like there is anything. This is just mod. A lot of... A lot of mod. Right. Yeah. Oh, fuck. It's a deep mod. What the fuck is that? Yeah. I think this is the sewage. I would go there, but look at this. This is a problem. I can't walk. The fucking frogs in here. Two of them. <sighs> yep. <sighs> Probably hate myself for coming in here. The frog swimming in here, this is definitely sewage. So, let's get the fuck out of here. Ugh. Ugh. The mud is just too deep. Ugh. Yo, fuck this place. Ugh. I'm getting myself out of here! Alright, I got myself out of this mess. Definitely can't go there, like the mud is that deep and I might just, my foot just got stuck inside. There's no way you move through that. <laughs> Look at these two frogs there. <laughs> They're just chilling on the sun. There's plenty of these frogs down there. So, I've thought not to go through that bush around. Let's just go back through here. Uh, the mud fell off my shoes, so... That's good. Alright. Uh, here it is. The center... ...of the castle. Whoa! Whoa! Holy shit! Do you see this place, guys? <laughs> this is... This is majestic. Wow, man. <laughs> Look at that. That's crazy stuff. So yeah, those are the three wings. First wing, second, and third wing. The castle's been build from three parts there's plenty of rooms and everything wow, wow this just looks really awesome i love it all right so we urban explorers have something called exploration plan or like the sequence in which you're gonna explore the building so i got three wings left right central so i'll first go with the right one since i see it's much easier to approach. I don't even see where I can enter through here. So, my instincts are telling me, you know, to first go with what's already open and easier to access. There's plenty of wasps around here. Gotta be careful. 
not to get stung by any or whatever. Just some metal wire, birds build a little nest. There's water dripping from the ceiling, from these algaes that form under watery conditions. <laughs> Look at that, a computer case. How'd that ended up there? Right. I like the building style, you know? It's like, it's pretty decent, you know? All right, look at that. Building material, like a cement or something. Oof. That's solid as a rock. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's not somehow. Okay, so... There's also another door there. Let's go there first. All right. Hey, little birds. <laughs> Did you see that? They literally flew above my head. What kind of fruit is this? That looks kind of wild. I don't think I... I want to try that out. Damn. What up with this room? So, this used to be like a water valves or something. None of this works. It's all busted, stolen, destroyed. All right. What do I got here? another like empty room like who brought all these things here like look at that toilets like the knees for the uh oh no those are actually those little like spongy water isolators I used to sell these look at that a water container that is all rusted up you know, water container for toilet, bunch of empty wine bottles, you know, stuff. All right. Crazy. My tactical pants help me so much, you know, I can't feel any of the grass or anything touching me. It's just great. Look at that, someone's shoes. Damn. Another computer case? Wait, this one actually has shit in it. Look at that, that's a power supply. 300 watts power supply. <laughs> it has a motherboard. A fan on a motherboard. Holy shit, guys, a guy I found like a perfectly working computer. <laughs> Almost working, you know. I wonder does some of this thing actually still work in it. It's pretty old setup, but... Woohoo, that, I'm surprised nobody stole or, or robbed that, like... Look at that, there's all kind of stuff here. What the hell, man? What is this, that's a toaster? I have found a motherfucking toaster. Hell yeah, man. Let's make some toast. <laughs> CDs. Speakers. Those are like old school 90s speakers. There's all kinds of electronical components and, you know, parts here. Look at all these CDs, DVDs. What the hell was, was on them? I really want to know. <laughs> okay. Another room that is, oh, well, kind of empty. Yeah. 
nothing here either. Birds are constantly flying around me in these little bushes. You know. Damn, another wrecked room. And now this is this is the front wing. Okay, I'm gonna go back to climb like the roof or whatever. And look at this support wall. It is like shattered down there completely. How the fuck is that thing even standing? You know? Better not touch it. Last thing I want is something collapsing on me and killing me. That would be a tragically sad way to die. In a place like this. I heard you can climb the roof. I'll try to do that later. What's up front here? I continue going here. Nothing, just more trash. All right, front entrance is that way. I can later go there, like a take, take a picture and then compare it with a picture when this wasn't abandoned. I actually have a picture that I will put in the video of this place when it wasn't abandoned. That's a stereopore. It looked pretty cool when it wasn't abandoned. Whoa. Holy moly. Look at that. This is like an attic or something. That's so cool. Yeah, I'm definitely at the balcony right now. And yeah, you can climb the roof. Very easily from here. Look at all that cobweb on me. Yeah. That's not stable at all. This is definitely something I'm not going to rely on. Yeah, that's, that's very weak. It's not gonna fucking hold my weight. In any case, I try to lean on it, so I better kind of stay away from the edge and watch my step. See, this can be dangerous. You trip, you fall down, you're dead. Luckily, I have a lot of experience and knowledge, you know. Yeah, if you fall down there, well, you might not die, but depends. Like, if you fall on the head, you're dead for sure. I like it can be can be very fatal and dangerous. Yeah, look at that. That watery grass that grows in watery conditions. In Croatian you call that Mahovina. Yeah, okay, it's kind of getting dark here. All right. This flashlight's actually not helping me that much. Look at these drawers. They're all emptied. What was this? A freaking boiler? Yeah. It was a water boiler. All right. I like how the entire building is connected, you know. You can get through the attic, like from one part of the building in the other, you know, from one wing to another. That's a hell of an obstacle. You know, the problem is the wire's kind of bended towards me, but since I'm a very intelligent person, I'll do this, you know, there you go, I 
and just flip it back, but I don't care because I crossed. <sighs> now this is the front of the castle. Actually kind of side of it. Whoa, crazy. All right. Okay. Well, that's kind of hole in there, but I can't squeeze through it. You know. Ah. Uh, all right. I'll have to go around, and then. Just center the front side. Actually, since I'm on the roof, let's climb it. Oh, fuck me. That's a steep one. So if I put my full weight in there. Oh, all right. Oh, fuck me. If I fall down there, these spikes will catch me. And that's something real fucking bad. Whoa. Would you look at that? Ah, man. Ah, what did I? Okay. Whoa, 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 I'm slipping down. Ah, it's really deep. Ah. All right. I mean, I could climb this, even though I don't see much point of doing that. What's that squarish thing over there? All right, let's move there. Do you actually know how hard this is with all the weight? of my backpack and you know, the equipment I'm carrying inside my backpack. Ooh. All right. I can can do this. I got this. This looks like a chimney or something. It has a ladder on it. There's another building over there. Oh, I think I, I can, I can quickly throw, whoa, a good look on that building, you know, with my binox. Let's see, what's that over there in that building? Well, definitely a wooden door, looks like a barn, two broken windows. There is a way around it. Looks easily accessible, which was the whole point of scouting. So yeah, those two windows are broken and don't have a wire on them. So I can get through the windows. All right. Uh, okay. Close up, please. Oh, not not joking. The backpack's heavy. The weight is just throwing me around all the time. I am definitely alone, at least I think I am. <clears throat> yeah, great. That's how you know you're fucked. <sighs> All right, spin. I ain't balancing on this shit with the weight of my backpack. Actually, maybe it is doable. 
Uh, that definitely looks broken and not stable at all on that side. It's very slippery, believe it or not. Ah, okay. I almost, just almost got my hands on the ladder. Whew. All right. I got it. Yeah, great. Absolutely fucking great. That's not stable. These ones are. Please, Lord. Please. All right. Whew. Damn. All right. Yeah, this is the worst fucking chimney I've been on. I mean, actually not the worst. I remember one that was worse than this, much taller. <sighs> wow. <sighs> Damn. Damn. Holy moly. <laughs> Just the view is really nice. Can't deny that. I can I can take some photos from up here? Uh, all right. Rusty canteen never lets me down. All right. Now, you know, getting up was very sketchy, but this is one of the things. Where climbing down is going to be even sketchier. Come on, gas mask. I mean, respirator. There you go. All right. Oh, Chris. Good fucking luck getting down. Gotta stiffen this. So it doesn't distract me. All right. This is the problem. You see, this is what I'm afraid of. If I pull this, it's gonna rip out the entire block. Please, Lord, you know, please, Lord, oh, this, um, I can't believe I'm fucking stuck on this shit. All right. No, it's bad when I say please, Lord. That's how you know. It's super sketchy. No, I'm not even joking. Oh, fuck. Hopefully, this shit... Hold my weight. All right. Good part is I always know it's good to grab him at the beginning. So if you're not sure, grab him, grabbing him like this is always safer. Very rarely breaks at the corner. Fuck me. 
I need to shift my weight backwards or something. How the fuck am I going to climb this? All right, I need to figure out how am I going to climb back. So I can use this as a support wall. That's one thing and I am using it. So I'm going to put my leg as a support. All right, got it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. How about I just slide the fuck down this roof? All right, perfect. Good fucking job, Chris. All right. Now the actual big climbing part. I like this place. It's fun. You know? Actually, wait. I see ladder there. I can I'm gonna climb from that side. Fuck that, I'm not going to this steep part. Alright. Ah. Ah. Okay. Good. I never had this much of climbing on an Urbex adventure. <laughs> this is a really climbish one. Okay. Well. Same stairs. Just going down. All right. Safely on the ground again. Ah, feels good to be down. <laughs> wow. Okay. Now. All right. So I just explored that entire part. I climbed that very sketchy chimney. All right. And this. This is the front entrance to the castle. Wow. Yeah, there's definitely a ladder here. All right, I'll check that out later. Whoa. Look at this. That looks awesome. What is this? Like a little circular rotor? You know, for cars. Damn, man. So, this is how this place looks like now. When it's all abandoned after all these years. Oh, look, there is a, even a forest path. In there. That's cool. So, this is how this place looks like now. And this is how it looked when it was freshly built you know just a picture for a comparison you know that's crazy so i could take come on phone oh yeah i could take a photo take another selfie Okay, let's see if I can enter this left wing and then I got the central one and that's it. All right, approaching the left wing. Okay, definitely 
I'm not getting inside. At least not through that door. All the windows are tightly shut, you know. Some of them are broken, but there is no way in hell that I can enter that building from this side. Yeah, definitely overpowered by the nature here. Or maybe I could actually squeeze. I got strong equipment. Yes. Look at that, there is door here. But it's blocked. All right. I ain't getting in through that either. There's got to be a way to get in the building. That's really heavy. Can't squeeze through this at all. Now I am back at the entry point. Can I open the window maybe? Yeah, no. The glass is all shattered and shit. There's no way to enter this building. So this wing of the building is inaccessible. At least, at least through here. I am getting there through this side. Alright, there has to be an alternative route somewhere, there always is, alright, let's go back, alright guys, I had to swap a battery, because the previous one was getting low, damn it's really hot, I got enough left. I love the entrance, you know, whoever designed this, you know, the architecture is pretty impressive to me, like, it feels really powerful, you know, imagine this is all yours, you're coming in, you just parked your Lamborghini somewhere there, you know, you're coming in, you know, and there's this big massive entrance, feels really damn powerful. It's awesome. This guy was rich, man. He was rich as fuck. So I do believe in the story that he was a gun smuggler, you know, and a criminal. Those ladder up there are the ones I saw earlier. You know. Hey, maybe this door is open. Oh, fuck me. Look at that thing. That's a big fuck off spider. I didn't see that shit at all. Oh, not a fan of spiders. You know that? That is one ugly motherfucker. Fuck that. Just fuck that. Is this opened? 
Oh, it is. Ugh. Holy fuck. What is this? It's kind of like pressure container or something. All right. I'm surprised that this is opened. Okay, it's not gonna open unless I press the handle so it's not busted, which means I can use that to, to climb up. Alright. Yeah, of course, it has to be all busted and fucked up. I don't really trust this ladder. Oh my god, man. Jesus Christ. Alright. Okay, cool. Oh. I want to climb this. Oh, wait. Somebody already used this. It's just falling down. Oh, hell yeah. Oh. Damn. Would you look at that? Ooh, that's a big drop. Look at this. Damn, now I'm standing at this circle. I mean, the building location was great. Look at this guy having all this. I wonder who put these here, you know. What do you call that? A dry grass that you feed cows, core horses, you know. And other domestic animals that eat that. That's pretty cool. Oh my god. Balancing with the weight of my backpack is scary. I'm not gonna climb that. Fuck that. Honestly, if I fell down here, <laughs> I don't know how would I get out. Use some of these desks or something. They're broken. I don't know how I would get out, so let's not fall down there. All right. All right. Steady, Chris. Steady. That's awesome. <laughs> I could take a cool shot here. Enough messing around with the heights. Let's get down. All right. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm really heavy with my backpack. Oh, jeez, dude. Yeah. There's the entrance to that building that's locked up. I'm in. Come here, backpack. Everything I need you, you need, is inside of it. Never leave that. <laughs> oh. All right, this is very, very, very small space. You know, I have to kneel here. All right. Let's see if I can find stairs or something to get myself down. Ah, oh, 
hell yeah. I knew there was an alternative route here somewhere. Oh. I can get down, but I can't get back up. I mean, yeah, I can jump out through these windows there. So, I don't know what's this down here. Looks like cutted wood, you know. Whatever it is. Ah, Geronimo. Oh. Ah. Ah. Shit. Ah, shit. It's like tiny corns or whatever. Yeah. Now my pockets. Everything is just filled with this. <laughs> Tiny. Yeah, this is like a corn. <sighs> Look at that. So this is definitely not abandoned. <sighs> All right. This is definitely not abandoned. This is still being used. But the good thing is now I can access the the other part of the building that I couldn't access, which is right here. Whoa. That is dope. Oh, jeez. It's all dust. Oh, that's fine. I'll wash it off. No problem. It's all abandoned. down here, nothing. How do we got here? Everything is like blue. All the tiles, everything. Ooh, some jars here. What's in them? I got no idea. All right. Matrix with pretty big hole in it. All right. What's here? Nothing much, just some collapsed storage. That's the blocked door. That's the sewage that I try to enter. Is it that one? It's blocked with all kinds of stuff anyway. So, fuck that. My legs just, my feet just fall through this. Like, do you know how many chickens can you feed with this? Like, you can feed entire army of chickens with that. That is pretty cool, though. It really is. <laughs> Look at that, where I jumped down here. Ah, oh, jeez. I'll have to sit here and just unload my shoes. Because they're filled with corn and these little seeds. All right. Uh. I am filled with these seeds, man. Jeez. They're everywhere, literally. My washing machine is gonna have quite a lot of job when I get home. But look at this, it's just so funny. Ugh. <laughs> Fucking seeds, man. All right. Maybe I will taste better to chickens if they ever, you know, get me. 
There's more. Jeez. Getting out of here is gonna be slightly bigger problem because you know I need to jump out through the window that is broken which includes broken glass all right I'll figure something out I always do Cobbler, man <laughs> All right, enough resting. Let's continue the journey to the final central building. All right, now seriously, how the hell am I gonna get out of here? I mean, the only way is through, through these windows. Uh, this one looks like it's been mostly destroyed. Uh, okay, I'll have to use my IQ here again. Well, this one's a bit too large. Uh, I'll try to try to look for a shorter one or a flatter one uh, let's see fatter one would be greater yeah come here you look you look perfect for what I need Jeez. Got these seeds under my gloves somehow. Life of an urban explorer. You know, that's how it goes. I'm all sweaty, dusty, dirty. As long as I'm not injured, that's great. Uh, well, that's it. I'm out of that building. So, woohoo. <sighs> All right. Let's head for the central building. Finally, the main building. Oh, look at that. A typing machine. It's completely busted. Olympia. Yeah. <laughs> that is completely wrecked. I got multiple doors and a wasp flying around me. Oh. Let's go with the front one. Whoa. Look at that. Hmm, this, this was supposed to be a bathroom. There's a bathtub. Okay. That looks pretty cool. This goes up. 
This was like unfinished bathroom or something. Wow. This is tightly sealed. Another one of these 80s style chair, 80s, 90s, whatever. That's the overgrown part at the front entrance. So this was like front entrance. There were multiple entrances to, to this building. Wow. All right. Uh, oh, look at that. Bank papers. It's in English. Hundred million US dollars. Look at that. Hundred million US dollars. Damn, this man was scary. I read that he was a broker in like London and New York. You know, and this proves it. There are English papers here. This man wasn't lying. He really was wanted by the CIA and shit. Holy shit. Wow, man. Why would you left like this important papers here? That is crazy, dude. I mean, these tiles here, look at this was a sauna, man. You would sit here and you know, that would heat up. Like these tiles are almost like brand new. Look at that, holy moly. That is dope. This was built in 1982, can you imagine that? That's crazy. That's legit crazy. What? It's really dark here. All right. All right. Let's proceed upstairs. Ah, fuck. Oh. What the hell? Damn. Damn, this is sad. Building this entire property and then having to flee the country because you were like wanted by the government that's crazy he he feared political exile that's why he fled the country so Željko Mikulić really was a dangerous man later he got involved with the uh, Ivica Todorić and, you know, other guys from the Croatian government that robbed this entire country and been robbing it for 30 plus years. So... Yeah. Political business, I see. Damn. That's a weird wood construction. Why would you like? Oh, okay, so this was put here because this started collapsing, I see. So it's unfinished. He never finished this entire place. Or he did finish it. And then like... It got robbed, you know, stolen, whatever. It's truly crazy. Like now, I am in the second floor of the castle. I feel like if I open that window, it's gonna fall off completely. This one's fine. 
That's crazy. Another huge bathroom. Well, this, this, this man had a mansion. Wow. This is really crazy to witness. This is definitely fun abandoned zone to explore. It has a really cool story. Damn, dude. Just holy moly. This entire place left to rot just like this. <sighs> Crazy. Alright, getting down again, ah, these seeds are still ah, in my boots and are fucking annoying, so I haven't been here, right? Holy shit, wow. <laughs> Look at that, some drawings here. Somebody was drawing here. Damn. <laughs> Samsung Z. <laughs> what the hell does that even mean? Twenty nineteen. Oh, look at that. From the stone and pain, the flowers will grow. Mikulic won't forget it. It doesn't rhyme in English, but when you read it, it's Kamenai bol aniknut, če cvijeće, Mikulic zaborajit neće. Then it rhymes. So there it is, Mikulic. The name really exists. The stories are true. You know, what I like about these abandoned places, like, you hear rumors, and then when you visit these places, you're like, yeah, it's true, that shit really happened. So I am walking in a mansion of Yugoslavian, most, one of most wanted criminals that was so dangerous that he was wanted by the CIA. Damn. Just... Damn. The castle blew my mind, but the story behind it... It's great. Holy shit, this guy was a real deal. <laughs> Alright, so... The only part of the building I didn't check out is this little room here which used to be like another big shower room or something like a bathroom look at that you could knock at the door <laughs> Damn. wow i i can take one cool photo here you know, this does look cool. Like, entrance from here. There you go. That looks real nice. Maybe another one like this. Damn. It's really... Sad that the man just abandoned all this. Holy shit. I don't know. The feeling of walking here, just like knowing the story behind this place, just blows my mind. Like, this is the richest man property I've ever like walked on, I think. Scariest man property, I don't know how to call it. It's crazy. Ah. 
There goes all of my water. Actually, I realized I didn't visit that building down there. Apparently, that should be a horse barn. But I got something also interesting here. Look at that, there are beekeepers here. These wooden crates are filled with bees. Oh, and the one just hit me in the face. Oh shit. Yo, 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 okay, okay. Ah, they're attacking me, fuck that. Okay, yeah, well, what did I expect? I poked their nest. Jeez, all right. There are also some two abandoned three buildings there. I don't know what's that for. All right, bees are not following me anymore. I backed up. Those are bricks here. I don't know what these bricks were for. There's plenty of these bricks here. Yeah. Crazy. Who knows how long these bricks been here. Alright, let's head to the horse barn that I've scouted from the roof with my binox. Also, there are some two bikers there with two girls. They came to check this place out. So they approached me, we shook hands, you know. They were polite and friendly. I told them a little bit about the place history, you know, they asked me what it was. No, 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 I explained them. And I left them over there to explore, you know. Oh, there are frogs jumping in the water here. <laughs> Tiny little frogs. So, I told them to be careful, you know, not to fall off or like climb anywhere if they're not experienced in that field or whatever. But they seem chill, you know, they just came to check out the place just like I did, which is crazy, you know, never really expected to meet anyone. There you go. Sometimes you meet people. These were fine. Okay. Oh, here is the ore's barn. Uh, okay. Let's check it out. All right. Damn. This looks pretty cool. Whoa, what the fuck was that? That was some big bird there. Yeah. It really is a horse barn. <laughs> Look at that. Can you imagine? This man even like had horses. That's crazy, dude. Wow. Awesome. Jeez, this guy was rich. These are the little water sources where the horses would drink water from. Wow. That is awesome, man. Awesome. Well, I think I will end this urbex adventure here, guys. Uh, 
this was definitely very interesting place to explore and if you ever find yourself around here come and check it out if you're an urban explorer and you like these type of things i just met some people you know that also came here and explore this place you know it's, it's pretty cool they went away it looks like so i'll be leaving as well now and yeah wow and the, the story behind this place is it's crazy it's really interesting you know what what this all was and you know the the man who owned this crazy story uh anyway i hope you enjoyed this urbex video if you did then go ahead and leave a like share comment or subscribe if you want to if you don't want to you don't have to it's totally okay uh you can also check my uh, uh, check out my facebook and instagram profiles you know links are down below in the description so follow me there if you want if you don't want to you don't have to it's fine and yeah guys i love you i appreciate all of your support and everything you've done for me and my channel so far thank you for watching i love all of you and i'll definitely see you in the next adventures chris out